Hey everyone, I just want to introduce you to a new telescope that uh, First Light Optics have uh, brought out. Um, it's a bigger brother to the EDT90, it's the Stella Myra 125ED F7.8 doublet. So it's a bigger beast and it's a doublet so it's going to appeal to both visual astronomers and images that want a bit more reach and I'll say it's going to appeal to images because it comes with options for both a dedicated flattener that's full frame or a APS-C crop sensor 0.8 reducer flattener and these are both adjustable. If you've watched my channel you know that I work on the help desk at First Light Optics. This is my personal channel though. The main idea behind this is just to run through the usual things like specs, measurements, weights and some of the finer details like how to actually attach the reducer flattener um, to the back of the telescope. So first of all, I'll just run through some specs quickly. So it's an ED doublet. I'll show you the lens at the front. I've got my hands big enough to I'll just let go of the camera a sec. Get the light on it so you can see the coatings. So doublet with FPL 53 equivalent glass and lanthanum rear element as well. And there's baffles all the way down. Fully multi-coated, you can see the green coatings there. And it's a carbon fibre tube, which makes it rather light for a five inch refractor. For a metre long refractor, that's a five inch, it only weighs 5.8 kilograms with the CNC rings and the dovetail and the handle. And there's lots of M6 mounting points on everything. So good for mounting accessories. So let's extend the juice shield a bit and have a look at that fully extended. So it's quite firm to extend. I just want to show the full length of the beast there. So let's slide down. So there we go. I'll put my L Pro filter in for sort of a size comparison. That's a two inch filter. Even better than that, let's measure it. I think it's a metre long, 39.5 inches long with the dew shield extended and the focus are all the way in. So let's do Imperial first. Yeah, it's about 39 and a half inches. Yeah, and then if I flip that over, it's about 100 centimetres. So if you're, the, if you're a person who likes to put your dew eater in front of the lenses, we're looking at 51 centimetres and if you like to put it just behind the elements on the tube 41 and a bit centimetres it's a 2.5 inch rack and pinion standard type focuser there's the rack there dual speed with 1 to 10 reduction it's got a 2 inch to 1.25 inch adapter with breast compression rings held on with three screws to help with reducing tilt and if you undo that bit there there's an m63 thread to put the reducer on but you need to remember to undo these little grub screws which my t6 wrench fits that's about 1.7 mil i think it's actually a 1.5 allen key from what i can work out but i don't have one of those but my t6 wrench fits that okay it's all metric i know that much I'm just going to show you how to put on like the reducer for example. This will not move unless you undo these three grub screws. So that's I think that's a 1.5mm hex wrench as mentioned from what I can work out. And on the draw tube of the focuser there's a M63 and 1mm pitch female thread. And if we get this uh, reducer for example out of the box. There's an M63 male thread that side, so we can just screw that on there. And that's gonna bring the telescope down to, from F7.8 to F6.2. Just gonna be careful not to mess up the thread, else I'll get in trouble. There we go. Okay, so both the reducer and the flattener behave the same. So the reducer 
3.8 reducer flattener, as mentioned, will cover an APS-C size sensor. It is adjustable with this ring here. There's increments there. M48 thread there for an M48T ring if you're using a DSLR or mirrorless camera. Or you use your adapters if you're using an astronomy camera to get the correct back focus. But simple as that. And if you undo the three group screws there, there and there, you can remove this bit. Camera side. And install a two inch filter so I could put my L Pro in there like that. And there we go, ready to go. Pop my camera on, I've got my filter in place there, nice and close to the sensor. So I think this is going to be good for, as mentioned, you know, people who want a bit more reach with their uh, imaging, planetary imaging, lunar imaging as well, and definitely observing. I think this is going to be a real kind of planet killer telescope. There's going to be so much contrast with that 125 mil high quality doublet with no central obstruction. I'm looking forward to testing it out now the planets are back. I mean, I've been spoiled recently. Now I've got a Takahashi, so it's gonna be really good to compare this to the Takahashi as well. And also my eight inch Skywatcher F5 Newtonian. I think that's gonna be a fair match for a five inch good quality doublet. And so it comes in this box with foam padding inserts to hold it snugly in place. Now, for actors like this normally come with a aluminum, aluminium flight, flight case, but we've decided to go for a custom o'clock bag, and this will fit this foam. So you pop that foam in this bag, and it's gonna be nice and flexible, because it's quite a long telescope. We thought that like a, a stiff but thin aluminium case, as they tend to be, might not be sort of that hard wearing, it will flex and twist. We think this is gonna be a bit more durable as an option. So we really thought about it and specified this instead, which I, I think is the right choice actually. I mean, if it's a, a little 80 mil refractor, a little aluminium case is good, I think. But at this size, I think a padded case is a better option. Anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna test it out next time. Uh, on the EQ5 mount, so I hope you join me with that and a big thank you to my channel members and my patrons. Till next time, clear sky, subscribe, hit the like button and uh, tell this class to slip off. See you next time.